Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Carlin. Today's class is a nice, gentle, restorative yoga class. It will be pretty brief, so we'll only hold the poses for between one to three minutes for each one. We typically hold them a little bit longer for restorative and yin classes. We're gonna use some props. This class is specifically designed for back pain. So we're gonna use as many props as possible to make this really supportive. I recommend having at least two blankets and, oops, I forgot my pillow. You'll definitely want a pillow. You'll want a pillow too. and um, two blocks. So if you don't have blocks, you can use anything else that's about this width that has to be pretty sturdy though. So maybe a textbook or um, a couple books stacked up together. Again, just make sure whatever you use is nice and sturdy. So we're gonna get started in a supported child's pose. So for this supported child's pose, let's grab our pillow, definitely, and possibly your blanket. So all of these poses take a little extra time to set up, but that's okay. So we're gonna take the pillow and we're gonna stick it in between our butt and our heels. So it's a little bit of padding for back there. Um, if you would like, you can also take a blanket and you can place it underneath your ankles. So you have some padding there as well. Again, we really wanna make this gentle. And then that second blanket that you have, you can fold it up. You might even use a block or stack your fist. And that's just gonna be for your forehead. So as you settle in, in these restorative child's pose, I like to just kinda of interlace my hands over my blanket. Your knees don't have to be super wide. We're just gonna take about 15 to 20 breaths here. Nice deep breaths. Just another three to five breaths here, depending on how fast or slow your breath is today. Try your best to slow it down. And when your body says that it's time, it's ready, you can gently start to come out of this pose, lifting the forehead, coming up onto the knees. You can move this blanket that your forehead was resting on out of the way, and then you can move the pillow as well. And in between restorative postures, we're just gonna take some cat cows. So I'm gonna open up my blanket so that it's just folded in half. And I'm just gonna use this for underneath my knees again, just for that extra support for this restorative style class. 
So on the inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And on the exhale, tuck the chin round through the spine. These movements don't have to be really large, just warming up the spine really gently. There should be no pain in any of these poses. And let's talk about the breath while we're here. So holding that child's pose for a little longer, you might have experienced some discomfort, some thoughts that came up, distraction. Really frustrating. But I just want you in these poses to just focus on your breath. Watch your inhales and your exhales. Even count them if you'd like, if that helps you stay focused. Whenever something comes up in the mind, just simply and gently tell yourself, come back to the breath. And take one or two more rounds of these cat cows right here. And then we're going to come out of this and set a restorative bridge pose. So this is where you'll be using the blocks. I am going to set up with one block and then I'll show you what you could possibly do with the second block if you'd like. So whatever you're using instead of a block, you'll just place it at the same spot that I'm putting my block, whether that's stacked blankets or books. So we're gonna come to lie on the back. I'm gonna have my blanket nearby so my block is softer. I want my feet to be hips width distance apart. This is a restorative bridge. So just like we would set up for a bridge pose, I'm gonna press down into my heels and lift my hips. I'm gonna lift my hips a little bit higher and just take the block right underneath where my sacrum would be. So I can test that out. That's that triangular bone at the base of the spine. So it shouldn't cause any discomfort. It should just be a really gentle back bend. And then I'm going to take my blanket on top of my block just to give it a little extra padding so I'm more comfortable for these few minutes in restorative bridge. Of course, you can take the block and you can move it to a different height. But I like to keep mine on the lowest height for these restorative poses. Whatever you want to do with your hands, you can do with your hands. Sometimes I like to take mine out to like a wide W shape or sometimes even up and over my head to get a little bit of opening in the chest and the shoulders as well. You can always have the hands at your sides, on your belly. Again, just listen to your body. Do whatever feels right in this moment. And if you're finding still with this padding, with the block at the lowest height, any discomfort in the low back, that's when your second block or your second um, object, whether it's a pillow, whatever, would come in handy. Um, this is trickier to set up on your own, but that's okay. So I'm gonna come back into my restorative bridge and I'm gonna use my second block as a foot rest. So if you have any back pain, this might cause a little bit less tension for you. I can always take my other blanket and I can stick that on under my head. So the more your body is in line, the more, the less rather tension you will experience. I prefer my feet on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and go there. If you've tuned me out a while ago, good for you. Just keep breathing. Again, we're going to be in this posture for a minute and a half to two minutes. Just settle in.
course, if you want to stay in any of these postures a little bit longer, you can always pause the video and stay as long as you'd like. Like I said, typically in yin or restorative yoga, these poses can be held for anywhere from five to 10 minutes even. If you're ready to come out of this, just take your final few breaths. And when your body is ready, be really gentle coming out of the pose. So if your feet are out long on that second block, you're gonna wanna take them back to the mat to start. Again, pressing into the heels, gently lifting the hips, and then moving the block and the blanket out from underneath you, and very gently just rolling the spine back down to the ground. And let's counter that a little bit by taking the left leg out long, hug the right knee into the chest, flex the toes towards the face. Keep that tailbone, that low back, really planted down on the ground and just take three deep breaths here. Two more. Last one. And then we'll switch out the legs, take the right leg out long, hug the left knee into the chest, squeeze it in nice and tight, tailbone is planted, glued down on the ground, left toes flex in towards the face, three deep breaths. Last one. And then when you're ready, hug both of the legs in towards the chest. Just gently either roll onto your side and come to a seated position or roll onto your seat right from your back. And then just take some circles with the neck. Notice how those postures feel in the body. And we'll set up for another restorative posture. So this one, we're gonna take a minute on each side, but first we wanna set up our blankets. So you wanna take whatever blanket is thicker. Some people even like to use multiple blankets for this posture. So I'm gonna fold my blanket in half. Now I'm gonna fold it in half again, and then I'm gonna roll it up like a burrito. So I'm kind of creating my own little bolster here. So mine's about this thick. Again, if you want it to be thicker, you could always roll up another blanket inside of it. I like more of a stretch in this posture, so I'm gonna double up my blanket here. This takes a lot of work. <laughs> so now I've just got this thicker burrito, my bolster type um, prop here. So I'm gonna take my blanket and I'm, my, my blankets, my burrito, and I'm gonna place them about three quarters up towards that. And we're gonna take a side body stretch here. So I'm gonna come onto my right side and my right side body here is gonna rest on the bolster, on the blankets. And then I'm gonna use my right bicep as a pillow, and I'm gonna take my left hand on top of my right. My knees are bent here. If it would feel better to take them out long, you can do that. Right here, I'm gonna take 10 deep breaths. About halfway there.
just another breath or two. And then we'll gently make our way out of this posture. I'm gonna press my left hand down into the mat and press myself back up to a seated position, nice and slow. And we're gonna take that right to the other side. So this time, my left side body, right above my hip here, is going to rest on the bolster, on the rolled up blankets. I'm gonna keep my knees bent, use my right left, rather, bicep as a pillow. And I'm gonna take my right arm, right hand on top of my left. I'm struggling with body parts today, but that's okay. 10 deep breaths here. Again, just focus on your breath. A little more than halfway there. Take your last breath or two on this side. And when you're ready, you're gonna gently press that right palm down into the mat and use that press of the palm to just really gently bring you back up to your seat. While we have the rolled up blankets in this position, we're gonna go ahead and just take the backs of our knees right on top of them. Take your pillow onto your thighs and just come forward into a nice gentle forward bend. And with our knees bent and our thighs elevated with the use of the pillow, this forward bend should be really gentle and nice in your low back. The more you tuck your chin towards your chest, the more you'll feel an opening in the upper back and in the back of the neck. Just a couple breaths here, just a transition. Take your final breath. And then when you're ready, just gently come out of this posture, lift the knees, and then take this bolster, burrito, whatever you wanna call it at this point, and just put it off to the side, keep it as is, because you will potentially use it for Shavasana. And we're gonna come back onto our backs and set up for a twist. So I'm gonna take my pillow off to the left side. Again, it will be there for support. I'm starting on the right side, hugging the right knee into the chest, and then pull that right knee over the left leg and just take it right on to the pillow. So if you need a little bit more support here, if you feel your right shoulder coming off of the ground, feel free to stack several pillows or blankets. Take as much propage, if you may, as you need. 
and take 10 breaths in this twist. Two to three more breaths on this side. When this side feels complete in your body, you'll gently take the right knee back into the chest rolling on to the back and then sending that right leg out long switching the pillow over to your right side and we'll take that right to the other side hugging the left knee into the chest and then pulling that left knee gently over the right leg my gaze comes over towards my left shoulder left middle fingers Again, this side, you might need more or less props, so feel free to build up or to take some away. And you'll feel a nice twisting here in the back, and as a bonus, you should also be feeling these twists in your outer hip. It should be a nice opening. Again, we're just here for 10 breaths. Just two to three more breaths on this side. And again, when your body feels ready, just gently coming out of the posture, taking the left leg out long to meet the right. And from here, we're going to settle into our Shavasana. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this uh, bolster, makeshift bolster that I already have rolled up. And to support my lower back, I'm going to go ahead and bend the knees and place this at the backs of my knees for my Shavasana. You can use any other props that you'd like. So if you want maybe a pillow under the head, a blanket under the low back, Maybe you want to cover yourself up with a blanket for warmth. Feel free to add any layers of clothing. You can always take your legs up the wall if you have wall space near you. Just bring the tailbone right to the edge of the wall and rest your legs on the wall. And wherever you are, we're closing out our practice here. And as this is a restorative yin fusion kind of practice, really gentle, really soft, I invite you to take as much time as you need, as much time as you can in this Shavasana, in this final resting pose. And the video will end here but stay as long as you'd like, breathing in your rest. Namaste.